Hey everybody, this is Craig LePage from Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is a quick tip. Uh, this is how to maximize your event with mega exposure. Uh, this is 11 ways to market your event. Number one, you wanna create a save the date. So you're going to announce your event and you're gonna do that with a graphic or video and you're going to say, here's the event, stay tuned for details, go to this web page. Um, you're going to basically create some hype around that event that is coming up. Number two, create an Eventbrite. An Eventbrite is basically an event invitation, a digital invitation. You can house all your events information within that. You can also have people register for your event through that. And uh, if it is a paid event, you can even have people pay through Eventbrite. So Eventbrite is a great software tool to use. You can post that post anywhere on any social media platform as well as an in, uh, Eventbrite event uh, invite. Number three, continued promotion. So between the time when you announce your event and up to the time of the event, you wanna continue promoting with the details of your event. So you wanna start announcing your speakers, announcing uh, the location, a value proposition, how many people are going to be there. So a lot of times, you know, we'll make a small video and be like, come to this event, we're expecting over 400 agents. People get excited about that. No one wants to be left out. They wanna be a part of something. So continue flowing that promotion about your event as the event is coming up. So once the day of the event happens, you want to be on location, you know, pre-event or during setup, and you wanna do some live videos, be excited about what's coming up, you know, the place, the venue might be empty, but you see all the chairs and the tables and the podium, everything set up. You want to do a video or a live uh, Facebook or live Twitter or anything like that in a social media platform to get people to come in and remind them that the event is that day. So you're building up the event. Uh, during the event, you want to do interview snippets. So you want to uh, interview people during the event, maybe at the, you know, intermissions and ask them what they liked, what they learned, what are some different highlights about the event that they um, they enjoyed. And you can make that into video snippets later on to promote your event and that it was a success. Of course, if you have uh, an actual presentation or speakers or a panel, you wanna have a long form video, tape that entire, th entire video so that people can rewatch that presentation and you can house that on something like YouTube, which is more of a long form video platform. Um, throughout the event, you definitely wanna have many still images. So uh, take overall shots of the room, the large crowd, uh, talk, take shots of people collaborating, take shots of the speakers, take pictures of the panel. Uh, you wanna put that stuff out during the actual event and after. Number eight, you wanna take pieces of the long form video and make snippets out of them. So if there is a presenter or a speaker or one of the panelists talking about a key point throughout the, throughout the event, you want to take that and make it into a snippet. So it might be a short, very important part and you can make that into a snippet and that is more content that you can put out as well. If someone makes a quote or a statement that is very important, you can take a still picture of that person speaking on stage and put their quote in a graphic. That is a great promotion as well. Once the event is done, you wanna send out a thank you card or do a thank you video. Uh, it was just you know such a great event and tremendous collaboration. It was a success so that people want to go to the next one. And number 11, you take all of your, your highlight video and everything that you, you've got from people talking to collaborating to real overall shots of the room and people talking on stage, the panelists, everything. And you wanna have someone put together a sizzle reel, which is almost like a highlight video. And you post that after the event as well. That promotes uh, your message, it promotes the event and it makes people wanna come to the next event. So those are 11 things that you can do with one event to promote an event and get massive exposure for your message, your event, uh, and your organization. Hope that helps. Take care.